New at 4.30, the Euclid High School Panthers have a new opponent this Friday. This after Sullen High School decided against playing at Euclid Stadium, citing safety concerns. Our Lindsay Buckingham joins us live with new details on the game that's happening now. Lindsay. Hi, Matt. Well, earlier today, the athletic department at Euclid High School confirmed the Euclid Panthers would be taking on a team from way up north, the River Rouge Panthers. Now, they do have the same team name. However, this team is out of Detroit, Michigan. So, River Rouge uh, Superintendent Dr. Derek Coleman says he has no concerns about playing in Euclid. This Friday night, his high school team will make the two and a half hour trek to Euclid's Panther Stadium. Our schools are nestled in urban communities. There's right. a level of violence um, that is consistent with the socioeconomic level. We're comfortable operating in that, so we had zero concern about coming down there. Meanwhile, Solon High School pulled out of the game Friday, citing violence in and around the school grounds. A new statement from the district today said, in part, our first choice was always to play the varsity game as scheduled this week. We did not refuse to play. We provided several options to achieve compromise and allow the game to continue, including playing at a neutral site. Euclid officials were adamant that the game be played in Euclid on Friday night without any consideration for alternative solutions and the lack of communication on a comprehensive safety plan left us no choice. One community member who did not want to show her face says the attention the game has gotten is taken away from the kids who deserve to play. But that should not impact the children's opportunity to play because again for some it's a way out and an opportunity so they should be given that opportunity. The game against River Rouge starts at 7 p.m. Friday night. We did reach out to Euclid City Schools for comment today and did not hear back. Meanwhile, Euclid Police Captain Mitch Hauser says part of the problem is kids from different cities showing up to the parking lot during and after the games. Coming up at 6, Matt, we're going to hear more about what the police department is doing to step up patrols on Friday night. Yeah, I'm sure that will buy, uh, provide some reassurance for some of those fans. Uh, thanks a lot, Lindsay.